talk about our player of the week coming up next. Find out who he is, what he does. It's all coming up next. First. Now, two works for you sports, sponsored by your Oklahoma Ford dealers. Welcome into sports, everybody. This week, lots of highlights to get to, but first, we start with our player of the week, where we bring you an in-depth look at some of the best high school athletes here in Oklahoma. This week, I got a chance to talk with Metro Christian quarterback Asher Link about last week's game versus Jones, his team's playoff chances moving forward, and much more. Take a listen. What's going on, everybody? Welcome into our Player of the Week segment brought to you by Primo Mitsubishi. I'm here with Metro Christian quarterback Asher Link. He throws for 425 yards, four touchdowns, and a Class 2A second-round win versus Jones last week. Man, you were on fire. Tell me about the game and, and what you, your overall thoughts are on the game. I mean, our team walked in, and uh, we were pretty excited to play there because it's a really fun place to play, and they're a really good football team. Um, we really wanted to come out with a win, and uh, we luckily came out with one. How did you throw 425 yards? That's something that not a lot of people get to do. That was top 20 ever in Oklahoma prep high school history. So what went into that game plan? Uh, my receivers and my line really just helped me out all night. My receivers went up and made plays for me and got open. The offensive line blocked well all night, and I think that really helped the game plan. And a lot of kids on this program talk about their offensive line and give credit to them because they're so good. You think you have one of the best groups in the state, right? Yes, sir. And what makes them so special? Uh, I think they're just really unique, and they're not exactly as big as everybody, but they play with a lot more passion than I think the other line does. Talk about that special eight-yard run you had to clinch the game. That, that's big time. That, that shows you have a lot of guts. You can perform well late in games. Talk about what went into that decision to run for those eight yards and ultimately win the game. So I was actually looking at the opposite side of the field from the way I ran. I was looking for uh, my receiver, Carson Callaway. The middle linebacker kind of moved up to cover him. Um, then I looked back left, didn't see any receivers open. I wasn't really planning on running it. And just the defense dropped back, so I just took my, my chances and went in. Are you comfortable running it? I mean, is that something that you think that your game has as well as passing? Can you run the football effectively against you know tough defenses? I think my uh, running game has really been like quite a bit more effective this year than it has in the past, and I've been a lot more comfortable running this year. Maybe expand a little bit more on the season and what you've kind of felt uh, has worked for your game in particular you know, with the wide receiving core that you have and, and kind of the special players that you have in this team. I mean, I haven't thrown to these receivers a lot in the past. Um, some of the seniors came out this year and uh, they've really just like taken charge and led the team very well, and um, I think that's a really cool uh, unity that the receivers have. Let's talk about this next matchup versus Washington. What can you guys do to take that next step and beat this team and move on farther that you want to go? Uh, I've watched some film on them. They're pretty big and physical, and um, I think it'll be a pretty tough matchup, but I, th I believe in like our offense and our game plan this week, and I think we'll be able to take care of it.